Introduction to MS Excel Lofty Goal In this lesson, you will learn about the following. What is MS Excel? Exploring the Excel environment to add commands to the Quick Access Toolbar. Create a workbook. Save a workbook. Manipulating data. I have to add, subtract, divide, multiply, find the average of many numbers. Which program should I use for all these calculations? Use MS Excel. It is easy to use for all types of calculations. Let's start learning about MS Excel 2007. What is MS Excel? MS Excel is an electronic spreadsheet program that can be used for storing, organizing, and manipulating data. There are three features that you should remember as you work with Excel 2007. The Microsoft Office button, the Quick Access Toolbar, and the ribbon. Microsoft Office button, ribbon, Quick Access Toolbar, Worksheets, Page Views, Zoom Tool. Exploring the Excel environment. At the bottom left area of the spreadsheet, you will find the Worksheet tabs. By default, three Worksheet tabs appear each time you create a new workbook. On the bottom right area of the spreadsheet, you will find the Page View commands, the Zoom Tool, and the Horizontal Scrolling Toolbar. Zoom in and out. Step 1. Locate the zoom bar in the bottom right corner of the Excel window. Step 2. Left click the slider and drag it to the left to zoom out and to the right to zoom in. Zoom tool. Scrolling horizontally in a worksheet. Step 1. Locate the horizontal scroll bar in the bottom right corner. Step 2. Left click the bar and move it from the left to the right. Scroll bar. Changing page views. Step 1. Locate the page view options in the bottom right corner. The page view options are normal, page layout and page break. Step 2. Left click an option to select one. Normal, page layout, page break. Adding commands to the quick access toolbar. Step 1. Click the arrow to the right of the quick access toolbar. Step 2. Select the command you wish to add from the drop down list. The selected option will appear in the Quick Access Toolbar. Some more. The Save, Undo and Redo commands appear by default in the Quick Access Toolbar. Spreadsheets. A spreadsheet is an electronic document that stores various types of data. There are vertical columns and horizontal rows in a spreadsheet. A cell is where the column and row intersect. A cell can contain data and can be used in calculations of data within the spreadsheet. An Excel spreadsheet can contain multiple worksheets. Cell, function bar, cell box address, rows, columns. Ribbon. The ribbon is the panel at the top of the document. It has seven tabs, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review and view. Each tab is divided into groups. Commonly utilized features are displayed on the ribbon. To view additional features within each group, click the arrow at the bottom right corner of each group. Home. Clipboard, font, alignment, number, styles, cells, editing. Insert. Tables, illustrations, charts, links, text. Page layout. Themes, page setup, scale to fit, sheet options, arrange. Formulas, function library, defined names, formula auditing, calculation. Data, get external data, connections, sort and filler, data tools, outline. Review, proofing, comments, changes. View, workbook views, show or hide, zoom, window, macros. Creating a workbook. Step 1. Click the Microsoft button. Step 2. Click New. The New Workbook dialog box will open. Step 3. Choose Blank Workbook. Save a Workbook. When you save a workbook, use the following steps. Step 1. Click the Microsoft Office button. The Save As dialog box will appear. Step 2. Click Save. Step 3. Specify the path and click Save. Entering Data. There are different ways to enter data in Excel, in an active cell or in the formula bar. Entering data in an active cell. Step 1. 
Click in the cell where you want to enter the data. Step 2. Begin typing. Entering data in the formula bar. Step 1. Click the cell where you would like the data. Step 2. Place the cursor in the formula bar. Step 3. Type in the data. Step 4. Click button or press enter key. Formula bar. Text appears in cells and formula bar. Manipulating data. Selecting data. To select a cell or data to be copied or cut. Step 1. Click the cell. Step 2. Click and drag the cursor to select many cells in a range. Some more. Each cell has a name or a cell address based on the column and row it is in. Hots. Where can you see the cell's address as you select a cell? Selecting a row or column. Step 1. To select a row or column, click on the row or column header. Selected row, selected column. Creating simple formula. A formula is a set of mathematical instructions that can be used in Excel to perform calculations. Formulas are started in a cell with an equal sign. Adding two numbers. Step 1. Click the cell where the formula will be defined. Step 2. Type the equal sign to let Excel know that a formula is being entered. Step 3. Type the first number to be added. Step 4. Type the addition sign to let Excel know that an add operation is to be performed. Step 5. Type the second number to be added. Step 6. Press enter or click the enter button on the formula bar to complete the formula. Obtained result. Adding the contents of two cells. Step 1. Click the cell where the answer will appear. Step 2. Type the equal sign to let Excel know that a formula is being defined. Step 3. Type the cell number that contains the first number to be added. Step 4. Type the addition sign to let Excel know that an add operation is to be performed. Step 5. Type the cell address that contains the second number to be added. Step 6. Press Enter or click the Enter button on the formula bar to complete the formula. Obtained result. Some more. Remember, if you do not start your entry with an equal to sign, then Excel will not evaluate the formula. Which one is correct?